Hello to all students. Today we are going to discuss chick development and special emphasis on formation of notochord and the process of neurulation. The rest of the processes of the chick development I already had discussed in my previous lecture. If you want to learn about uh, chick development, you can watch my earlier video. So let's move on to the lecture. So as you know that the process of chick development takes place in chicken egg at the surface of yolk in a disc like structure which is known as uh, embryo. So I have taken a disc of embryo right over here. After few years, after few hours of development, when we look at the structure of an embryo under microscope, there are two uh, regions are visible on the surface of the embryo. The outer area which is adherent to the yolk is known as area opaca while central area just above the yolk is known as area pellucida. In this diagram the area which is in red color is known as area opaca while area which is in blue color is known as area pellucida. Just as development proceed, there is a formation of streak, which is a kind of invagination uh, on the uh, posterior side of the embryo. So this is the anterior side of the embryo, which is also known as syphilic end, and this is the caudal end, and which is also known as posterior end. So in the posterior end, caudal end, there is a formation of streak, which is known as primitive streak which starts from posterior end and moves towards anterior end. When you look at next diagram, which is also the shape, the structure of an embryo, the primitive streak is progressing towards anterior end. Now let's move towards the next diagram. The shape of the embryo has been changed from round to pear shaped. This is area opaca. This is area pellucida and in the center you can see primitive streak which has been completed there are ridges which are known as primitive ridges between these two ridges there is a cavity enfolding in vagination a kind of furrow through which cells from anterior to posterior and from both sides lateral sides cells of epiblast migrate inside the blastocele to the, for the formation of notochord and mesodermal cells. This is known as primitive streak and the ridges present on the sides of this streak are known as primitive ridges. On the anterior end of the primitive streak there is a kind of invagination which acts like just like a, a blastopore in the embryo. This invagination is known as Hansen's nodes and the cells migrating through Hansen's nodes are going to form notochord. As you know that notochord is a rod-like structure present in the embryonic stage of all the vertebrates animals which is made up of proteinaceous cells which are filled with proteinaceous material. Uh, vacuolated cells with the, which are uh, filled with proteinaceous material. I apologize for that. So notochord is a basic structure which is present in all vertebrates during embryonic stage. Now this notochord is modified into vertebral column in the adult stage of most of the vertebrates and as you know that notochord is the main axis of the body around which all the body organs develop so let's look at the another diagram to discuss the formation of the notochord as i already mentioned earlier that cells from the epiblast are migrating inside the blastocele between the epiblast and hypoblast and they are going to form notochord and mesodermal cells. Mesodermal cells, formation of mesoderm I already had discussed in my previous video. So today we are only going to discuss notochord formation. So let's move on to this diagram. So this is an embryo. 
in the form of a disc present on the surface of yolk and this is the formation of primitive streak just to the posterior end or caudal end of the embryo. As the development proceeds, primitive streak also moves towards anterior end and the cells migrating from Hansen's nodes are going to form a rod like structure just in the center of the embryo in the central axis just beneath the epiblast. These red color diagram as the diagram shows that this red color is a notochord, notochordal cells, notochordal process which is going to take place from anterior to posterior end. As uh, cells start migrating from Hansen's nodes, uh, formation of notochord keeps taking place and when you look at the, this diagram, the shape of the embryo has been changed from round to uh, pear shape. Uh, notochord has been formed from which can you can see from anterior end to the posterior end and primitive stick is reducing and in, in its length. Just around the notochord you can see a blue color area which is known as neural plate. Neural plate is going to uh, form the nervous system of the embryo which we are going to discuss right now. So in this way after formation of notochord which is uh, uh, takes place around 18 hours of uh, embryo life 18 to 24 hours. So notochord has been formed in this stage. The next step for the uh, embryo is formation of nervous system and this system formation of nervous system is known as neurulation. So discuss so to understand the process of neurulation so we have to take a cross section of the embryo. So what I did I have taken a cross section from embryo right over here. So this is a diagram to understand the process of neurulation as you know that a uh, basic uh, process of uh, development is formation of three germinal layers uh, epidermis which is formed from ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm <coughs> so at this stage the outermost layer of the embryo is known as ectoderm which is going to take part in the formation of mesoderm and formation of nervous system this is the endoderm which is going to form internal organs and this is the formation of mesoderm which we already had discussed in the previous lecture. When we look at the surface of the embryo, uh, the ectoderm in the center has a plate which is known as neural plate. There are certain cells which are present in the form of a plate or a disc on the central on the surface of notochord. These cells are present inside in, in, a, in a plate like manner. On the side there are cells of ectoderm as you can see right over here right over here in the in the blue diagram but these cells are not going to take part in the formation of nervous system only the central pool of cells central disc of cells are going to take part in the formation of nervous cell and this layer is known as neural plate in the center there are mesodermal cell we are not going to discuss on the lower surface of the mesodermal cell there is an endodermal layer we are not going to discuss that so this and I hope this diagram makes sense. So now let's move towards another diagram. Now this neural plate cells are going to sink downward as you can see in this diagram. As you can see these black color cells are sinking down and making a groove like structure V shaped structure which is known as neural groove. And the margins of this groove are known as neural fold or neural ridges and the rest of the blue cells are ectoderm which are not going to take part in the formation of nervous system rather they are going to form epidermis of the embryo. On the lateral side of the neural groove there are somites. Somites are specialized cells which are going to form muscle cells of the embryo and just uh, below the uh, neural groove there is a structure which is known as notochord which runs along the length of the whole embryo and form a main axis of the body which is going to develop into vertebral column. Now this uh, neural groove is keep uh, deepening and the cells of the neural fold are going to move towards each other and they are going to fuse with each other just like this and after the fusion of these cells there will be a ring, a tube like structure made up of these cells which are known as neural plate and this tube is now is known as neural tube. While the rest of the blue cells 
well after joining they will become a structure known as epidermis there is a mesoderm and there are also some somites and there is endoderm we are not going to discuss the main focus is our neural tube neural tube is a hollow tube made up of the cells just above the notochord which runs along the length of the embryo from anterior to posterior end later on this tube will develop uh, uh, will open from on both side but later on this tube will be closed on the anterior end or cephalic end of the embryo there will be formation of brain while the rest of the neural tube will develop into spinal cord around which uh, vertebral bones or vertebral column will develop from notochord and whole nervous system will complete this process is known as neurulation and at this stage when a neural tube is formed in the embryo embryo is known as neurula so i hope uh, this makes sense and uh, after that after the formation of mesoderm and uh, nervous system other organ the process of organogenesis and the formation of other organs takes place and after 21 days a complete chick develops which later hatch hatches from the egg and start new life so i hope it makes sense see you in the next lecture until then bye